Hi, Mr. Aslan, how are you? Come on in. How's Thanks. it going? Thank you. Thank you, sir. The detector here. Yep. Yeah. Up this way? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, oh man, how are you? Just fine, how are you? Oh, wonderful. It's beautiful. Can you guys sit there? Oh. You should, you know more than I do sometimes, so. No, you're the one that knows more about him. We're talking about Jackson. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I've never met Mr. Jackson. Not that I don't want to. Okay. Or maybe I don't want to. But anyway. So, so what's up? So this comes from a meeting Here. at the, the village board a couple months ago mm -hmm. and he's saying that you said uh mentioned something about water from his property coming onto your property water from, my from his property coming onto your property stop it wait a minute i gotta can't because his property's all the way down there to the, the tollway so here's here's what's going on right what do you mean it's all the way he, to the tollway it's right next door to felix and martina Keep your feet out of stuff. Hmm. Next door, who's next door to Felix and Martina? Jackson. Oh, is that? Are you yes. guys? Oh, Jackson. I'm thinking. No, Taylor. I know you oh, were. Okay. No, Jackson. Because <laughs> the guy is in well, his final years. Okay. He's got he had cancer and this and that. No, he owns got the one dementia. down. I don't know the, if you guys are familiar the with The house that. right behind us. You oh, can okay. see it from no. here. Yeah, That's right behind us. And, and there's a squatter trying to oh. take over. So really? when whoever called me, it was me. That's, that's who I yeah, was Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, you, you did mention a name, and I was like, I don't think that's what we're here for. <laughs> yeah, no, but this is, that's what I've been prepared for. Oh, been sorry there. about that. I didn't We've know it was been over talking, here. Oh, and I've been trying to tell you. Oh, okay. But anyway, uh, She's trying. She trying to set up where she's paying the back taxes. There aren't any back taxes. She's uh, turned on the electricity, so we knew from Bill and his wife that they had turned off the electricity, and all of a sudden the lights are on. Mm, okay. And so. There's a squatter trying yeah. to get in there. I got you. Under that new new law, if you so. Yep. Mow the lawns, do this, do that. You can. So, no, this has to do with uh, Quentin Jackson, mm -hmm. two properties down. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Jackson filed a complaint mm -hmm. with the um, village um, against you, basically saying that um, you, during the, the, the board meeting, I guess there's a town hall meeting yeah. or whatever, some kind of meeting, you, it's the, the minutes are here, it says that, you stated that your property is to the west of Seordias? Yes, they're right next Felix. door here. And that it has also caused drainage problems by blocking the natural water flow through his property. Also stated that he has signs in the property that detract from the value of their properties. I have signs? No, that he Mr. Jackson does. Oh, okay. But Mr. Jackson is um, saying you that... To drink? No, thank you, oh. man. Is yeah. saying that uh, <laughs> it is nice out. Is saying that uh, that you made a complaint claiming that uh, 
the drainage issues caused by him doing what he did is, hey. is causing water to come Dude. out of your property. Okay, yeah, wait a minute. Who did I make this complaint to? To the village. To the village. I haven't been to the village making a complaint. Well, it's, it's in the minutes. It's when in the we, minutes. When you, you went to, with Felix and Martina. We understand that we, Jackson has an issue with Felix and that they have a um, restraining order between the two of them. Yeah. So Jackson is saying that you spoke at a, at a meeting and were complaining about water from his property making it all the way to your property. No, I said that because of the way he put dirt down, mm -hmm. yeah, stops the natural flow. Because mm -hmm. I've been, what have we been here? 45, 45 years. years. Mm -hmm. And you want to step okay. out there? I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about, how that comment from me came. Sure, we've absolutely. Been here. We'll just go out the back door, I can show you. Watch out for the attack birds. <laughs> Oh, two sand cats out there. Oh, do you really? Oh, yeah. yeah. They set up residence. Uh oh. They, don't, they, they don't, can be mean, can't they, they? Yeah, but they don't attack oh, nobody. Right. Oh, wow. They come and eat here. They it's just come and stay. Yeah, you peck so at cool. my window, and I'll be chasing you down the hill. All right, you see my tank? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. That hill goes like this. Mm -hmm. So the water drains this way. Okay. When you get real rain. Okay. It goes underneath that tank and it goes up on either side as much as it needs. It comes down and it can and go, goes in around that front tree. Of it. We've yeah. had it we've had it up to here sometimes. Up to the first tank here. Goes where the around, water goes around this way. And it goes in between the two barns. Yeah, it can come down here. Okay. This is really nice. Well, we're trying. Oh, wow. What, the deck? Yes. This is really nice. Okay, so it runs right through here. On that side of the tree or the other side of the tree. And then Felix's two barns, when, when they moved in, they built one barn. Mm -hmm. Well, then one day I'm talking to him. And I says, Felix, what are you doing? He said, well, we're putting another barn in. He was going to back it up against this barn. I says, hey, you can't do that. Well, why not? Well, he, they haven't been here long enough to get the float. I says, because it comes through me all the way over, comes. It cuts between there. The two barns, because I said, build it back. Otherwise, it's going to wash the new one out. Yeah. You know, well, then it goes mm -hmm. across. And I suppose the easiest way. I see. So it, instead of going this way, it, it, it stops and it, it doesn't go through his property. I'm, I Go ahead. Keep going. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to understand now. I think I got it. This one, well, if you get out here and look, all you have to do is look at the ground. Look at the way the grass is. Yeah. Yeah. It so comes, it's not water coming this way. It's water going that, that way. way. Yeah. Oh, I thought. Now I understand. Well, that's what I was thinking. This yeah. water is coming onto your property, yes. but it's not able to leave your property. What you're saying is it can't leave the property. I understand now. The flow can't continue now. Yeah, if if he keeps putting dirt, it keeps raising that up, and now it's just settling. Yeah. And he okay. can't talk to Felix because Felix they have a restraining order. Well, so he's, now he's it's, got, a, it's, he's got it's one essentially on me affecting. Too. You know, he's he. He said I, not to come to your property, but there's not yeah. a, you haven't been served a restraining order. No, no. This makes a lot more sense now. Mm -hmm. Yes. I was a cop for 30 years. I know what you guys <laughs> yeah. about, so I'm not trying to be an idiot about this, but you know, the guy comes in here and he just does all kinds of stuff. Okay. Now you... You yep. can see it. Yep. Right here. All right. It goes between the two barns, and that's Felix's water system. Uh huh. And that's the wetlands right there. I can see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that doesn't well, that, fill as much as it used to. Of, it, none of that was here. Okay. You know, I mean, there was, there was some. Uh, uh, no, I can't think of her name. Anyway, there was cattails. Cattails. That's what I was searching for. They, uh, there's a, were a few cattails in there, especially if you had a, you know, 
heavy winter or a lot of uh, rainwater, it would back up and, you know, they spring up mm -hmm. real fast. So it goes through there. Felix says, oh, I'm glad you told me that. So he built the second barn back there to keep the flow going. And so I, I guess what you're saying is at this point, there hasn't been a problem. However, if he keeps building it up over there, there's going to be a major problem Stop. where it's going to be just nothing but flooding okay, right what here. was it, four or five years ago we had that? Uh... I'm going oh, no, to, good. yes ma'am. <laughs> I was over on that property yeah. already this morning. We talked oh, to well, Jackson this morning. We talked to him this morning. So we walked this area right here where the wetlands are. Um, and then that's when we went back to our building, got a hold of you on the phone and set up oh, coming back okay. down here to talk to you. Yeah, well, I want to take you down there anyway, because that'll give you a little bit more. What were you saying now? Huh? No, I was just saying I didn't know that they had been over Yeah, we've been on it. We've been on the property just this morning. And what cracks me up is they have a order of protection, like 500 feet. Mm -hmm. Our lot lines are 230. He has an order, so there's an order of protection against you guys? I don't think no, so. Against, against, against him, Felix. Yeah. Against yeah. But it's 230. That's 520 feet. They'd have to be in one corner and, and Felix yeah. and Martina in another. I think that's mainly just... Yeah, it's, uh, there's, if there's you're next door neighbors, you can't... Yeah. Yeah. I... Anyway, what I was going to say is, I think it was June, July, how many years ago was that? What? In the summer, when we got that real heavy rain. Oh, and, I, I don't know, but... It was, I so mean, heavy rain. Yeah, I was going to say four. I mean, it was some of the heaviest I've seen here mm -hmm. on the property. I mean, it mm -hmm. just came down. Mm -hmm. And it did that for like an hour. And it came through, and it was coming up the sides over here and the sides mm -hmm. over there. So I've been through that, you know, and I know how fast it can go. And we'll go this way. We used to have railroad ties as decoration mm -hmm. on the well, they ended had, up some of them over here. Uh -huh. So you know what it takes to, yeah. to float a, a, yeah, I can a see. railroad tie. Yeah. Okay. That's high water. And a lot of it. Well, I, what, what I'm afraid of is if he keeps going and backing everything up, then that once, you know, in 10 or 15 years that you get that real heavy downpour, mm -hmm. you know, if, if that happens, it's going to really... Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. Screw things up. Mm -hmm. This is usually much better, mm -hmm. but the heat we've had this year. Oh, tell me about it. It's uh, the ground is pretty damn dry. Yeah, everybody was trying to be nice to him, and then. He's got, uh, so this is Felix's property? Yeah. yeah. He he's, he looks me on it. We, they bought this house after we bought this house. Mm -hmm. And he, they lived next door to me in Waukegan. Oh, really? We, oh, really? Yeah, we moved out here. I've known him since I was like 16. Oh, we, wow. We used to do roofs together. Huh. In Waukegan, and I don't know if you've been to Waukegan, but there's some of those old homes. Yeah, like you did those you're, roofs, huh? Yeah, you're 40, 50 feet in the air. Yeah. You know, and the, the old style uh, roofs very, were very steep. Very deep, yes. Yeah. So basically, when we have that flood, it goes between the two barns. So it comes right out of there. You can see where it goes right yep. through mm -hmm. here. And then is it supposed to go south? It, well, he or built split. all that property. Yeah, we were over there. It's it's that all built property up. Property used to go this way, uh -huh. and then 
Would it spill in this area right here where the berm is now? Yeah, well, it, it, it's backed up, but he immediately came in and started filling things. Mm -hmm. He's still filling things. Yeah. And I just, I don't get it. It, one of the, I mean, it is, I, I understand your situation because at my house, I bought, I built, or I, I, I bought my house and then my two neighbor's lots bought their houses and built houses and they built them higher. So I, I get a little bit of that. It's not to this extent, my property is not anywhere near that, but I do understand what you're saying. Yeah, it's but right. it's one of those things where it's like, you can't really control what the other person does. I understand if there's issues with the, the village and whatnot. Yeah, well. Randy at the village, he doesn't go up on me. So then it runs through here. We're going to uh, not go on that property. Yeah, we're going to. Oh, no, no. I, absolutely not. The property line is right mm -hmm. there. Okay. Is that tree line? Yeah, I just cut the uh, cattails from Felix. But it used to drain right through here. And then it was a natural drainage that went over by Keith's property, turned, and if when you go out, look at, go that way and just look at it, you can see that it went this way, and then it turned towards Keith's uh, mm -hmm. uh, driveway. So okay. that used to be the natural flow of so, water, but now since he put this here, it's kind of. Well, he's he screwed it all up, so it's it's going to back up, and. Knock on wood, we haven't. You haven't had the problem yet, but I you're in. I say it, but right. yeah. you just said it. But if you go this way, I'll, I'll show you the other thing that's happening. If we're talking about the trailer and all that stuff, we know about all that stuff. No. Mm -hmm. Did you see the road? The road, no. For some reason, he's got the idea that he's going to put a driveway in here all the way back. To where? God knows where he wants to do it, but that's... Well, if it's his property, he's got the right to put a driveway wherever he wants. Well, yeah, I understand that. That doesn't bother me, but when you put your driveway and then you you don't put the the right size uh, drain tile to go that way, because like I said, you know, when it floods, it floods. But, you know, he calls, calls you guys and he goes to the... Village board. Well, I, I don't know if you understand why he's going to these lengths. He can't get a building permit right now. Yeah, they told Because him. of the complaints that are being made against him, when in reality, everything he's done so far has been approved. Mm. I mean, it, the, the DNR approved him filling that in. The DNR approved him putting the, dr the driveway in. The DNR approved everything that he's wanted to do, but because there's continuous complaints against him, the, the village is not letting him build his house. Well, do you know what I mean? So yeah, he's, I, he's I, getting like really frustrated. Like everything that I've been asked, I've done. I've been asked to get these permits. I've been asked to get approval from the DNR. I've, did, I've done DNR. He did the uh, Army Corps of Engineers came out and said, yeah, this is fine. He's got all that paperwork where he's done. He's took all the steps to get this done, spent a ton of money to get the approvals, but still can't build his house because people keep making these complaints about everything he's doing. When in reality, everything he's doing has been approved. Do you know what I mean? It might yeah. it might suck for you, but unfortunately, I haven't been I haven't been in in front of the county board or anything. The only thing I do is I I see stuff going on. I'll call Randy up mm -hmm. there, and then, and then Randy does this and in the drawer, you know, which I have no control over. Well, I don't think that's the case. He's been getting uh, citations for stuff. Jackson has gotten tickets for. Um junked vehicles when or they're not when they're technically not junk it sounds like well whose property is this back here this is felix is still felix and mine so see that house all the way there huh well just this side Holy of it. Cow. that tree line yeah well if you look uh let's see well we're going up that way anyway you can see it, but... it's a lot of property this is a ton of property wow. Wow. 4.9. Wow. And you've had it for 50 years? Oh, yeah. We've been here for, we were the first ones here. This is really nice. There was nothing built this way except the two houses were Keith's. And those aren't, well, I shouldn't say that. Keith ripped 
the whole house mm -hmm. down to the first floor. Holy cow. Well, otherwise he would have had to put new cement and everything else in. Okay. I know you're probably not going to want to hear this, Byron, but when you have a property this long, you're used to it being a certain way, and then somebody else moves in near you, and things inevitably change a little bit. Oh, I and we, we, under, we can't really, you know. Hey, you can, like I said, I did 30 years. So yeah. Put a uniform on me, yeah. and no, I, I, I was doing really, I get it. You've thing. been there. Yeah. You've done it. So you understand where we're coming from, where, yeah. um, I mean, nothing he's done has, has been illegal. Nothing he's done is... Here not approved. Here we're at it. Is this more of his? I see. There's the property line where that fence okay. pipe is. So this okay. is more. Um, is he building a berm here? I don't have the idea if he's building a berm or uh -huh. he's putting this in for uh, 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 so you don't have mud and he, he's going to put a mm. uh, driveway in all the way back there to his house. But as you can see, he could do anything he wants mm -hmm. to. Like, that's Felix's property line. Mm -hmm. And I haven't talked to the village. I haven't talked that usually there's so much property before you can, you know, away yeah. from your property line for putting a driveway in. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Yeah. But we don't know that that's what he's doing here is building a driveway. Well. It's my no. understanding he wants to put the house right here. That's what he told us this morning is more or less where the camper is, is I think where he wants his house. Okay, well, that's fine. Then what's all this? I don't know. Putting a berm up, you know? And <laughs> I mean, and then, you, you know, he bitches and complains that Felix is saying this and Martina is saying this. And what's he do? Mm -hmm. You know, he, he comes along and just dumps the shit. Well, I'm sure it wasn't him actually dumping it. I'm sure it's whoever oh, no, brought but, it in. Did. You know, if you're the one calling for the trucks. Yeah. You should be able to tell, yeah. you know, hey, you, that's the property line there. You've got to be on the inside. Yeah. So that's all I wanted to show you out yeah. here. I so appreciate it. Because then, then if he starts yeah. yakking at you, well, we went out there. And you, you can, Mr. Aswood, you can say, you know, notice this, notice that. So, yeah, I guess what his... What his complaint was, what, what all this stems from, is that because you made a complaint that um, I think maybe the, the board the, the misunderstood, who, who took down the notes, it might have misunderstood what you were actually saying as far as uh, that you had problems. You're saying it's going to create problems if he continues, if he continues to build up. Yeah. Um, he's he's reading the minutes from this meeting and mm -hmm. saying that you that you already had problems of flooding in your yard caused by him. No. And then when he talked to you, he's got a video of you know, the two of you talking, and um, you saying that it hasn't caused any issues in your yard yet. No. Yeah. Which, which we do understand now, but from his perspective, it was you saying that you were having these problems to the board, which he wasn't at this meeting, and then you telling him you haven't had the problem, so he thinks that you're a liar. Do you understand what I'm getting oh, at? Yeah, he yeah. thought that you went in front of the board to, to, to claim that you were having these problems to prevent him from building. No, I I went I went in front of the board because I didn't want him yeah. doing exactly what he's doing. Yeah. Putting dirt down and, and building things. And you up. have a right to you know let them know what issues you have or right. foresee. Absolutely. So I'll show you how the problem is is that he's got approval from all. From yeah. All of I don't know how this is going to get resolved, but. Look at look at this. It's definitely not a criminal issue. Mm -hmm. no. See the property line there? Mm -hmm. the look what he dumped. He dumped all of yeah. this on Felix's property. Did he ask Felix? Probably no. not. Oh, yeah, that, that's what I'm I think about. we understand what's going on. If this you're afraid this is gonna turn your backyard into a swamp. Well that and the, I don't think I don't think it'll do that that much but but I guess the problem is everything he's done he's yeah. asked for permission and, and had uh, surveyors and everybody else come out here and they've all given him a stamp of approval to do what he's doing yeah so he feels like he's just being railroaded yeah. you know what I mean like I'm just all I'm trying to do is build a house here and everything I do I get approval for yet I still can't build my house because of all these complaints well 
<laughs> so you got to at least see a little bit where he's oh, coming yeah. from. For three years, he's tried to build a house on this property. Mm -hmm. And for three years, he's received nothing but what he considers to be harassment, harassment and roadblocks when everything he's done, he's gotten approval for. That's... So I think we're at a point now where it's, I mean, it is what it is. He's, yeah. he's been allowed to do what he's doing. Um, it seems to me like every single thing that the village is asking him to rectify, he's rectified. Um, he's trying to anyway. Well, the so. thing that gets me, Felix, like I said, Felix and, and I yeah. came out here first. Yeah, I, I understand. That's The second house built was this house. Yeah. So they didn't build the house. Yeah. We were here couple of years and we came out at Christmas time and the people was built that we're gonna move to Florida. And, uh, Felix! Yes, sir. Hey, you take the pass to break. We were just out here talking to your neighbor here. Um, Mr. Jackson father. Yeah. Mr. Jackson, yeah. I know you have issues, we know um, we have issues. Uh, he filed a complaint against Mr. Asley here, and uh, we had to come out here and talk to him about it. And he's trying to help us understand your guys' perspective. We've already talked to him um, today, understand his perspective. Um, everything he's doing to the property, he's gotten approval to do. So um, He's gotten approval? Yes. Yeah, for building a house in that. He's, I mean, as far as the DNR is concerned, DNR said, yeah, go ahead and fill in all that wetland area, um, put your driveway in. They've told him it's okay. And in order to do it, he brought in, or somebody brought in, I think the uh, contractor he used, brought in the Army Corps of Engineers to make sure that it wasn't going to upset any of the natural flow of water and everything. I mean, he's he's trying to do everything the right way. Well, every time it rains over here, goddammit. No, I know, and we've heard. But and, uh, the, I, sh I showed him. Okay. The, the problem is somebody approved it. Yeah. It's not him. I mean, he said, this is what I'd like to do. DNR came out, looked at it, and said, go ahead. So, I mean, he, he's asking permission. They're giving it to him, and he's doing it. And he's being told everything's going to be fine. You're, you don't have anything to worry about. So he does it. You know what I mean? It's like if I were to say, hey, I want to build a 4 million foot uh building here but I don't want to block the sun from you guys and somebody comes out here and does all the solar measurements and stuff and says no you'll be fine and I do it and it blocks the sun I tried it's not my fault that this guy was wrong and you know it's blocking the sun when I was told it's not going to does that make sense I mean I know that's kind of a crazy thing to say but it's he's saying hey this is what I want to do so I can build my house way back there and have all this land in front and they say, yeah, go ahead. So he does it, does it. And then you get you guys are getting upset with him for doing it, but he's asking permission from the right people and they're giving it to him. It's probably the color of the goddamn skin. Wow. I had used to I worked at Commonwealth Edison. I used to do a lot of the blacks. And, and they come in there as contractors and they want to do their own crap and they couldn't do it. I said, guys can't do this you know uh, the long and short of it is he, he's got permission to do that on his property and that's what everyone's gonna have to live with for yeah right now. we just got to deal with okay, it okay so it's okay when the, the water well, flows through here and comes back into my property it's not on him it's not no he talked to the DNR and the DNR said it's gonna be fine you'll be okay he put the right he put I think it was required, I'm going to get these numbers wrong here, a 12 inch uh, culvert or whatever to for the drainage is what he was required. He put in 16. I mean, he, he went above and beyond to try and prevent. I mean, he was told the minimum you can put in is this size and he put in one twice a bit, twice as big to try and prevent any. Uh, yeah, but he moved it uphill that way. Well. <laughs> But that's what that's what the people that he didn't do it. We we were he, assigned here for a criminal issue to look at it, and we we've, no we've understood it's a misunderstanding, and it's not a criminal issue. 
we're trying to like mediate a tiny bit here, but at the end of the day, we have no control over what he does on his property, just like you guys know him. And so if it happens again, I guess you, you gotta make a complaint with the, the village and it's just gonna start the cycle all over again. But if you guys can resolve this without, you know, tickets and whatnot, I think it's probably best for everybody. We'll, well see what it happens with the, with the rain. Because honestly, I mean, I, I know you're saying that, you know, it's him that's doing this, it's him that's doing this. He wants to build a house here for his family. So he's, he's getting the permits, he's getting the approval, he's getting people to come out here and survey, and he's getting all that, all, just like whenever this house was built and when that house was built, you had to go through all the right steps, he's doing that. He's doing everything the right way, but he keeps getting roadblocks because apparently the neighbors don't like him. And so they keep making complaints against him, but he's doing everything right. I mean, he, he has not taken one shortcut as far as trying to get his house built. You we, know, and as far as like the cars that are on his property, the ordinance stated that they had to be registered. All the cars that are on his property are registered. Every vehicle on his property is registered through the state of Wisconsin. It, he's doing everything right. We can't answer all of your questions, but oh, if didn't. you guys have questions, we'll try. But at the end of the day, we th it is what it is. Do you understand, Felix? I know you might be ha not be happy about it, but that's where we're at. I don't know. I'm not happy with him. Just the, way, the goddamn language he uses all okay. the time, you know. Okay. And he's calling me a damn wetback, and I don't go for that. Okay. Well, that's. Try not then, to. Then just. Try to ignore him. Don't have him. any conversation with him. You know. The two of you just ignore each other. But what he's doing on his property, it's. He's a landowner. He's got the right to build a house on his property if he wants to. And I know you guys have been here a lot longer, and I, and I know that you guys are used to a certain way, and I, I understand that. But at one point, you guys were a neighbor to somebody who didn't want a house built, too. You know, I mean, you weren't the first house in Kenosha County, right? Mm -hmm. At some point, there was a neighbor down there that says there's nobody that lives here for 500 miles. Everyone and here, then somebody built yeah, a house yeah. there. You know Everyone I mean? here has legitimate reasons for taking action, but at the end of the day, if he gets approval for the things he's doing and he's doing them, then there's nothing we can do about it. Okay? You understand what we're saying? Well, I understand that. Yeah. yeah. But when I first met him, right away he come out with this bullshit, you know. Okay. And uh, well, you're, not a great you're, first you're impression. Making, no, not yeah, a good first you know, impression. He, yeah. He got but that's, racial, you know. But yeah. that's 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 in the past. Yeah. Uh, there's a no contact order, which should help resolve that. Yeah. You know. Don't get yourself in any more issues with him. Ignore him. If there's an issue, bring it up to the village. The village will do their best to mediate, and then we'll go from there. Sorry. But as far as this, the water drainage issue is concerned, I understand what you're saying as far yep. as, hey, if we have a really bad rain, it can, but I mean, he got, he got approval to yeah. do exactly what he did. He's got the paperwork, the village has copies of it. I mean, he's got. He had approval to, I thought he should have put a, a something so the water could go through, you know? And he's not done yet, maybe he will. I don't know what the situation is. Well, he's had plenty of time to yeah. do it. You know, it's, it's not like he, like he came here. Yeah. I can't remember. I appreciate it. Thanks for, thanks thanks. for giving us some okay, time. Sorry, but I, no, don't. No, I understand. Time. I understand. Yeah. Unfortunately, when, when people start getting the, the, the back and forth, it kind of eggs each other on. Yeah. You know, you understand that. No, it's okay. Thank you very right, much for your care. time. Thank you. Appreciate it. No, my house in Waukegan, they bought the house next to us. Oh, yeah. yeah. And that, that house was built, I think, in the 30s. Oh my really? gosh. Yeah. Wow. We understand what's going on. Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, I, I, guess just... the, the, I mean, I guess the bottom line is, is, you know, what he's trying to do is build a house for his family and he's getting the approval. Um, at some point, it, it's, it's on somebody else, you know, I mean, like if, if somebody screwed up with... Well, yeah. Randy. <laughs> yeah. Randy, he, he let that stuff go through and this guy, DNR and the rest of them, he was 
I don't know if he's calling them daily or yeah. going to the office daily, but you know, what else? They come out and they go, well, you know, the easiest way out of this one. Yeah, and maybe that's what happened, but yeah, but the, the best thing they could have done, done if it was going to be yeah, 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 done. I, I done. understand, I understand. You can take the log and lay around and you can dump I might it. just walk outside, I just don't want to um, get attacked by your pets that live out here. Oh. <laughs> Zero dog. Okay. Oh really? Yeah. Aww. My last one died this well the last two died this year. I'm sorry. That's well, tough. Thank you very much for your time, Mr. Reza. Please thank your wife for us as well. Yeah. Um I hopefully you won't ever see us again because uh, I think this is a, a non issue. Maybe I wanna see you. Yeah, you never know. Well, yeah. So here, here's my card. <laughs> no, if something comes up, give me a call. Um but I think at this point it's Maybe just a misunderstanding. Well, you weren't intending to lie about him. You were you were making bringing a, up a yeah. possible future bad well, outcome. Well, people can't picture it. It's just like this. Yeah. You, know, you wouldn't. You, think. you can see it. Yeah, I, and and to be honest with you, I didn't understand until now. We're here. You're showing it to us, and everything else kind of makes sense. It Especially makes a lot more your sense. conversation with him about it not being an issue now. Well, it has the potential for being an issue because that's what the the past natural flow of water was and it could be disrupted. He, you know, he filled that all in and then where he put the pipes, he put the pipes, I'm taking a wild guess, 20, 30 feet that way. Mm -hmm. Well, that way you, you saw it is now going uphill. Yeah. So the water's not going to flow that way. It's not, it's, it's missing it, is yeah. what you're saying, yeah. yeah. And it's going to back up, make a swamp for Felix. You know, I yeah. don't know. He's going to have a bigger issue than you probably. Oh, yeah, but absolutely. But it still will essentially affect both of you probably, you know. But that's, unfortunately, like I said, that's the exact issue that I have. And I have a great relationship with my neighbors. It's just one of those things. You can't control how big, high they made, built their houses up on their property. Yeah. yeah. So I had to dig down and I had to put a dry well in to catch some of that water. But thankfully, we've had a pretty dry, you know, year this year. Yeah. So did you say that? <laughs> but it's yeah. always, it's sometimes it's too like dry, water. other times it's too, too wet. wet. It's yep. never perfect. Yeah, it is. Thank you very uh, much. Sir, appreciate you. it. Really appreciate your time. Yeah, it, it cleared up a lot. This is all cleared I up, I think. cleared yeah. up. Oh, I don't know what you sent us. You got a uh, case number? Um, you know what? What's a number for you? I'll call you with it. Because I don't, oh, oh, actually I'll... I do have it. It's right here. I'll write it down. Where's that Well, card? here, I can, I can. My, yeah, my water clock's working. Oh, it's, I'll, I'll write it down right here. Oh, okay, great. I'll give you another card with it on there. It's gonna run out of cards in about ten years now. I need to. <laughs> we get so my many. Email's cards. gonna change anyway, so I gotta get new cards eventually anyway. All right, here we go. Yeah, that that one rain we mm -hmm. had. Uh, I can't remember which which one it was. But that tank wasn't there, and neither was the roller. Oh, Three two nine nine five one is the case. Yep. Okay. All right. But yeah, I had a I had a river going through here. Yeah, I could imagine. Unreal. Yeah. Because like I say, all that floats this way. Well, and you can see your barn is built up to avoid it. So yeah, and all yeah. this stuff existed, and now there's a change, and that's yep. what happens. Unfortunately, it stinks. Yeah. One, Our, of the, one of the good cases. That yep. you yeah. 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 I appreciate it. Thank you very right, much, sir. sir. Thank how, you. How many years till you retire? I got about 13. I got eight and a half. So plenty <laughs> of time on, but not nearly enough time to say, okay, now we can start well, yeah, thinking I, about yeah. it. The longer you get there, the more bullshit. That, yeah. You know, There's years definitely years. been a lot more of that lately. <laughs> what year did you retire? Twenty-three. <laughs> Take care. Thank you, sir. I appreciate your time.